This is ITTV. Tis the season for grads, dads, and summer vacation. Are you looking for a cool gift to keep your kids, parents, or friends entertained? Ever want to have more than 3 million Wikipedia articles in your hand anytime, anywhere? Well, Rob is up next with a device that just might do it for you. Thanks, Dave. As we've discussed on the air, Wikipedia hasn't often been considered a trusty source of information, but let's face it, a lot of people use it anyway. And if you use it regularly, wouldn't you like to have it available to you at all times, even if you don't have a smartphone or an internet connection? That's where the Wikireader comes in handy. The Wikireader is a dedicated device that helps you do one thing, look up information or wikis. It's simple to use and portable, powered by two AAA batteries, you have a power control, a touchscreen, and three ways to look for topics. Search, history, or random. And it doesn't require a data service. It's all built in. We're going to search for Steve Jobs, for example. Tap on the phrase, and then scroll up on the screen to read more. You can also view your history to see what you've searched for previously. And for fun, hit random, a different topic every time you click. That's a cool way to run into interesting topics and learn, assuming it's correct info. So how do you keep this device current? It doesn't require constant updating, but you can update it. Log on to thewikireader.com and look for the update page. There are a couple of solutions for this. Basically, you can copy an update onto the microSD memory card or buy a new card with the latest content. For the summer season, this can be helpful to kids who are always asking questions they can search on the Wikireader for answers. Good news for parents, OpenMoco, the company who created the Wikireader, provides parental controls so youngsters don't run into articles that may not be appropriate for their age. We really like this device as it does its one job pretty well. Remember, it won't connect to the internet as it has over 3.1 million wikis pre-installed. Pretty easy for parents and kids to use. If you're interested, it'll cost you under 100 bucks, and we'll connect you to the Wikireader at intotomorrow.com. Have fun searching through the wikis. Meantime, here's Dave Graveline. Oh, thanks, Rob. I'm searching for Into Tomorrow right now, but oh, wait, I did, and there's nothing there. Chris tried to submit info a couple of years ago, and because he simply used cut and paste from our own website, Wikipedia thought it was stolen information, so they didn't allow it. I'll give a great prize to you if you can create something for Into Tomorrow or even Dave Graveline on Wikipedia. Go for it and let us know. What do you think about the Wiki Reader? Is it something that you would use? We welcome your participation on our radio program Into Tomorrow anytime 24 7 by hitting those easy to remember digits 1 800 899 Into. That's 800 899 4686. 